नंबर थर्टी सेवन आर आर बी पी ओ नो क्वेश्चन नंबर वन टू थ्री नो द फस्ट थ्री क्वेश्चन दिस वन सम नंबर ऑफ फ्लैक्स एस टी यू वी डब्ल्यू एक्स वाइ एंड जेड आर कैप्ट वन अब द अदर बट नाट ने सेल इन द सेम आर्डर ईच रैक कंटेन डिफरेंट ऐटम्स बुक्स न्यूज पेपर्स एंड सो आन एंड द फ्लवर्स रैक इज नाट देन सेवन रैक्स आर देर some number of racks are kept one above the other but not necessarily each rack contains different items books different items books at the same time the flowers rack is not is not the second from the bottom of the racks only one rack is kept between x and t the clothes rack is kept immediately above x newspaper is so on and in this one now shall let us start with this one as a number of floors is there any information regarding the number of racks Racks going to be nicer than me. No, sir. S T U V W X Y Z. Now, how many are there? There are eight. Some number of racks. And in total, we have S T U W. Hence, we have only eight racks. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Hence, eight racks were there. Now we need to find out the article and the rack. The flowers rack is not second from the bottom, and this is not the flowers rack. Flowers rack is not second from the bottom. Rack is not second from the bottom of the rack. Only one rack is between X and T. X and T. There must be exactly one rack between X and T. One between X and T. The clothes rack is kept immediately above X, and immediately above this X, this clothes rack should be kept immediately above X. The newspaper rack is kept immediately above jewelry box. Newspaper is immediately above what? Immediately above this jewelry box. Newspapers is immediately above the jewelry rack. Z is not newspaper rack. And whatever this Z, Z is not newspaper rack. And Y is kept immediately below the magazine. And Y is immediately below the magazine. Y is kept immediately below the magazine. Only one rack is between U and magazine. And between U and the magazine, there must be how many? There must be exactly one. Why rack? One rack between U and the magazine. As magazine is here, U can be at this place or below this one, below this Y, isn't it? Here, this is one possibility. Then, what is the other thing here? Rack is immediately above jewelry. Z is not newspaper. Z is not newspaper. Y is kept below. Y is kept below the magazine rack. Y is kept immediately below the magazine rack. Only one between U and magazine. X does not contain newspaper, and X cannot be newspaper as well. And three racks are kept between W and Z. As three racks are kept between W and Z, tell me what are the possibilities of this one? And only one rack is kept between flowers rack and T. S rack is filled with the perfume in the last rack. S perfume last rack. S is here, and This is perfume, and this is last rack, and after this, and between W and Z. How many racks are there in between W and Z? There must be exactly three racks. Three racks between W and Z. One, two, three, and this is one possibility, and the remaining two possibilities were also there, isn't it? And three in between W and Z. One rack is between flower and T. Flower and T. S rack is filled with perfume in the last. Three are between. Clothes rack and books. Clothes and books. How many possibilities do we have? Clothes and books. There must be exactly three, and exactly three. And below this clothes, there must be X. Below this clothes, there must be X. And between X and T, there must be one. Clothes. Next one is X. Next one there is a blank. Next one must be T. That is one possibility. And X is kept above T. X is kept above T. The flower rack is kept immediately below Z. Flower is immediately below Z. As flower is immediately below Z, flower is kept immediately above Z. Flower is kept immediately above Z. Flowers is immediately above Z. Now we need to find out this W and Z. As flower is immediately above Z, and next one. Now there are two possibilities for this W and Z, isn't it? There are two. Now in this case, if you start with this one, all this possibility. And if this, if you take this as W one two three, then Z will be here. If this Z is at this place, and this flower is immediately above Z, 
flower is immediately above this z as flower is immediately above z we have taken this information and clothes x blank t clothes x blank t where can we fix this one if clothes and x blank t clothes blank x t and between x and t we must be exactly one isn't it hence we have finalized this one and next one clothes x blank t x and t and u magazine u blank magazine and y u blank magazine and y tell me where can we fix this one u blank magazine and y can you take u at this place if you take u at this place magazine is not possible and u magazine and y this is not possible u blank magazine and y it is not possible isn't it hence u cannot be at this place can that means this possibility is not happening clear if you take u before this magazine then if you take u at this place and y must be at this place which is not possible or if you take u at this place blank magazine y in the place of s which is not possible hence between magazine and u there must be exactly one this is the case done with this magazine y and u magazine y and u hence where can we fix this one magazine y and u tell me magazine y and u now if you take this magazine if you take this is magazine and here y is not possible and if you take magazine is here magazine at this place then y and u is fixed x z t w y w u w s then what is left over here v is left over as v is left over here newspaper is immediately above this above this jewelry as newspaper is immediately above this jewelry newspaper is neither z nor x newspaper is neither z nor x newspaper and jewelry and neither and flowers is immediately above that we have taken this information and what else is left over here t between t t rec i'll come once again now the most of the thing is fiction now now we need to find the flowers rack is not on the second from the bottom flower is not on the second one rack is between x and t and clothes rack is kept immediately above x newspaper is immediately above jewelry and newspaper is immediately above jewelry newspaper jewelry or newspaper jewelry there are two possibilities z is not newspaper and y is kept immediately below the magazine y is immediately below the magazine one is between u and magazine u and magazine one x does not contain x does not contain newspaper three racks are between w and z one rack is kept between flower and t flower and t one s rack is filled with perfume in the last three racks between clothes and books clothes and books are how many three racks as close is here one two three books must be here if this is books is here and these two must be newspaper and jewelry newspaper is here and this must be jewelry if this is jewelry what is after here clothes flower magazine and books and toys and this toys must be at this place done with this now this is about question numbers 1 2 3 then as quick numbers please first write down this question numbers 1 2 3 then 4 and 5 has come out with the numbers fast 4th one and 5th one Let's run with this one. Next one, four to six completed. Now question numbers four to six. Now in this question numbers four to six. Now what is information given here? Now if you check all these numbers, what are these numbers? Can you identify the common thing among these numbers? Sixty-three, eighty, fifteen, forty-eight. Now sixty-three can be written as eight square minus one. 
90 is 9 square minus 1, 15 is 4 square minus 1, 48 is 7 square minus 1. Number of letters square minus 1. Now here 4, fine is 4, 4 square minus 1, hence this is 15. Isn't it? Current, how many letters are there? 7. 7 square minus 1, this is for, this stands for current. As what is the code for this fine? Now the code for this fine is star i 15 star i 15 isn't it star i 15 is the code for fine then what is the code for current here there are six now to this word current as there are six letters six or seven seven letters and seven square minus one 48 and exclamation and u 48 and similarly what is the code for this economist economist how many letters are there nine nine square minus one 80 and for this economist economist then tell me what is the code here 80 dollar c 80 dollar c 80 and for the next one what is left over here scenario now in this scenario 4 5 6 7 8 now scenario and how many letters are there 8 letters 8 is 63 and has c 63 and this is what the information we have clear now now the numbers were finalized as the numbers were finalized total number of letters square minus 1 then what is the next one here then in the next one now in the word fine what is the second letter i i is given at this one in the word current u economist c and c and this is c hence the letter how are you getting the letter the letter is nothing but the second letter in the given words clear then coming out with this then what else is left over here symbol now for this symbol what happens here symbol is based on what symbol is based on the number of letters now there are five four letters for four letters it is star and current six letters this is isn't it exclamation and economist here there are nine letters nine letters it is dollar and scenario it is star hash and so on and the first symbol is based on the number of letters and question numbers four to six are based on the same logic then seven and eight now in this question number seven and eight what is information here a b c d e f j h are seated in a circular table facing the center who is thought to the right of c then who is thought to the right of c in order to identify this one then it is based on what it is based on data sufficiency then in this data sufficiency individual statements were there then we should go for what combination first let us check out with the combination of two two elements both two and three now tell me with the help of both 2 and 3 are we getting the answer or not and both 2 and 3 how many persons 8 persons 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 and a is not in who is sitting thought to the right of c is the question then choice 2 it is 2 and 3 what is 2 here b is seated second to the left of g if g is here b is seated second to the left of g left of g e is sitting to the immediate right of g and e is to the immediate right of g and A is opposite D. And A and D are opposite to each other. This is the only possibility in this one. A and D are opposite to each other. And this is about condition number 2. Then condition number 3, there is one person between H and C. One person between H and C. What is the possibility here? H and C. H or C must be in these two places only. Isn't it? One person between H and C. Then who is the person left over here? A, B, C, D, E. F is the person left over. F must be at this place. One person between H and C. F is seated second to the left of D. F is seated second to the left of D. D is here. If D is here, A will be here. There is one person between G and H. One person between G and H, H will be here. Then C will be here. Then what is the answer we are getting here? Then what is the question? The question is who is thought to the right of C? Who is thought to the right of C? D is the answer. Are you getting a unique answer or not? Hence, which statement is sufficient? 2 and 3 is sufficient. As 2 and 3 is sufficient, tell me whether we can directly opt for choice 2 or shall we look out into the other choices other choices what are the other choices now tell me whether choice 3 can be your answer or not choice 3 cannot be your answer why choice 3 cannot be your answer because with the help of 2 and 3 I am getting the answer hence only 1 and 3 cannot be your answer any answer must be a combination of this 2 and 3 and this is ruled out then can choice 1 be your answer choice 1 choice 1 cannot be your answer why because with the help of 2 and 3 I am getting the answer and there is no necessity for me to include 1 along with 2 and 3 to get the answer. 
because with the help of 2 and 3 alone I am getting the answer. Choice 1 ruled out, choice 3 ruled out. Then none of these is also ruled out. Now we are left with either choice 2 or choice 4. What do you mean by this choice 4? 2 and 1 or 2 and 3. As of now I got the answer with 2 and 3. With the help of 1 and 2 also if I got the answer choice 4 or else choice 2 may, will be my answer. Clear now? Then 1 and 2. Then tell me 1 and 2 what is 2 here? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. B is seated second to the left of G if G is here. B is seated second to the left of G. E is sitting to the immediate right of G. E is to the immediate right of G. A is opposite to D. A and D must be opposite to each other. A is opposite to D. And this is about condition number 2. Then coming to condition number 1. And A is not an immediate neighbor of C. Yes, A is not an immediate neighbor of C. H is seated second to the left of F. H is seated second to the left of F. H is here. F will be here. Isn't it? H is seated second to the left of F. A is not an immediate neighbor of C. And whatever this C, where should this C? C must be at this place. Isn't it? And A is not an immediate neighbor of C. H is seated second to the left of F. H is seated second to the left of F. Clear? Then what is the answer? H is seated second to the left of F. A is not an immediate neighbor. Then what is the answer you are getting here? Are we getting any answer? Then what is the question? Then who is seated third to the right of C? Are we getting in the answer? Now C is said though the arrangement has not been fixed. But is the person who is seated third to the right of C is G. Am I getting the answer or not? With the help of 1 and 2 I am getting the answer. With the help of 2 and 3 also I am getting the answer. Hence it is the combination of 2 and either 1 or 3. 2 and either 1 or 3 and it is given in choice 4. And this is a how to work out when our 3 statements were given. 3 statements then how to work out this one. First priority should be individual statements then combination of this statement. If you could able to get the answer with one of this one the remaining choices most of the remaining choices can be eliminated. And this is about question number 7 choice 4. Then what about 8th one? 8. No question number 8. Who is the tallest among 6 friends A, B, C, D, A and F? 6 persons are there. Now the question is about what? The person who is the tallest among this. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Among these 6 persons, who is the tallest? Now the tallest person among these 6. Who is the tallest among these 6 persons? And condition number. Individual statement see here. Only one is there. First we should go for that one. Only one. Only one. And A is taller than only C and D. As A is taller than only C and D, A must be at the fourth place. C or D can be at the fifth and the sixth place in any order. And F is taller than B. As F is taller than B, hence either F can be the tallest or E can be the tallest. Are you getting two different answers or not? Hence one alone is not sufficient. Hence the choice is completely ruled out. First priority is for individual statements and it is ruled out. And afterwards then we should go for what? Then we should go for combination of 2-2 two -two statements. Now in the combination of 2-2 two -two statements, in the combination of 2-2 two -two statements, in the combination of 2-2 two -two statements, the combination of 2-2 two -two statements, both 2 and 3. Now in this both 2 and 3, if you go for this both 2 and 3, F is not the tallest. F is not the tallest, that's what we have the information here, F is not the tallest. And next one, E is taller than, E is taller than both B and C. E is taller than both B and C. E is taller than B and C is not the shortest. E is taller than B and C is not the shortest. And with the help of this one also we cannot able to determine. Either E can be the tallest, C can be the tallest and the remaining persons A or D can be the tallest. Hence choice 2, okay, is not sufficient. Then, if choice 2 is not sufficient, then we should go for what? And both 1 and 3. Now, in this 1 and 3, 1 and 3, A is taller than C and D. A is taller than only C and D. As A is here, C or D, C or D will be here. A is taller than only C and D. F is taller than B. As F is taller, A is taller than only C and D. F is taller than B. As F is taller than B, then who can be the tallest? Tell me here. Either F can be the tallest or E can be the tallest. With the help of condition number 1, either F or E can be the tallest. 
then E is taller than B and C. Here in this one, E is taller than B and C, and C is not the shortest. As E is taller than B and C, and C is not the tallest, again then also E and F, either E can be the tallest or F can be the tallest. Isn't it? Hence, this one is also not sufficient. Then we should go for what? Both 1 and 2. Now in 1 and 2, what is given here? F is not the tallest. Clearly given. Now with the help of 1, either E or F is the tallest. Now with the help of 2, F is not the tallest. As F is not the tallest, who is the tallest? E is the tallest. Are you getting the answer or not? Only choice 5 is the answer. And this is about question number 8. Then next one. Yes, come out with the numbers please. 9 and 10. 11. Now question numbers 11 to 15. 11 to 15. Now 11 to 15, how many persons are there? There are 10 persons. D, M, Q, T and so on are facing the center. Four of them are facing outside. Now question numbers 11 to 15, now question numbers 11 to 15, how many persons are there? There are 10 persons, isn't it? 10 persons in between, yes, how many persons are there? Must be in between these two, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, isn't it? 10 persons are there in this one. Now among these 10 persons who are facing this, 10 persons are facing the center, but 4 of them face outside. That means 4 away, 4 away and 6 are inside, 6 are facing the center. Z is south to the left of A. Z is south to the left of A. P is seated second to the right of T, R is second, R is second to the left of W and is facing the person who is to the immediate neighbor of Q. And M is immediate neighbor of D, T is facing the center, isn't it? Now what is the information here? Now this T is facing the center clearly given. As T is facing the center and P is seated, P is sitting between the persons who is 4 to the left of W. L is south to the right of R. No. P is sitting between the persons who are facing away from the center and Q is south to the left of M and Q is south to the left of M, M who is facing the outside. Now, sir, rather than taking this T, because there is no information related to this T, now we can fix this, the other person. M is facing outside. As M is facing outside, can we fix M at this place or not? M. As M is facing outside, Q is south to the left of M. 1, 2, 3, Q will be here. Q is south to the left of M, M who is facing outside, and D is fourth to the left of W, L is south to the right of R. Then, And M is to the immediate right of D. M is to the immediate right of D is there, isn't it? M is to the immediate right of D. As M is to the immediate right of D, as M is here, can you take this D at this place or not? That is one possible. And what is the second possibility? D is here. There are two possibilities for this D. And if D is here, M is seated to the immediate right of D, then D must be away from the center. Or if D is here, this D must be towards the center. There are two possibilities. And M is to the immediate right of D, T is facing the center, P is sitting between the persons who are facing away from the center. And P is seated between the persons who are facing away from the center. Hence, two persons must be two more persons who are facing away between those two persons are in the alternate places. Then D is fourth to the left of W. D is fourth to the left of W. Then tell me where can this W? 1, 2, 3, 4. W can be here. Or what is the other possibility here? 1, 2, 3, 4, W can be here. Isn't it? D is 4 to the right of W. We have this information as well. And Z is south to the left of A. Z is south to the left of A. Z and A, no information. P is seated second to the right of T. And P is seated second to the right of T. R is seated second to the left of W. R is seated second to the left of W. If you take W at this place, R can be either at this place, R can be at this place, isn't it? Now let us fix this W at this place. What is the advantage of fixing this W at this place? Tell me. If you fix W at this place, then if you take R at this place, then what happens here? All the remaining possibilities will be invalid. 
We are left with one possibility. Whether that possibility we are getting the answer or not, we can able to. If that is not the answer, then we will go to the second one. Clear? Now I am eliminating D at this place by fixing this W. If W at this place, now this W is facing towards which direction here? R is seated second to the left of W and this W must be away from the center. Then R is seated second to the left of W. R is seated second to the left of W. Z is south to the left of A. R is seated second to the left of W. And, and he is the and he is facing the person. And W is facing the and R is facing the person who is to the immediate neighbor of you. R is facing the person means R must be facing towards this. And this person is an immediate neighbor of Q. Q must be here. Hence R here is fixed. Isn't it? Now this person is facing the person. This facing the person means this person must be facing towards the center. These two persons are facing each other. And this R is facing the person who is to the immediate. Now sir, earlier R can be at this place or at this place. If you take R at this place, Q cannot be adjacent to this one. As Q cannot be adjacent to this one, hence the second, the other possibility wherein we can have this W and R at the remaining places are completely ruled out. Follow out or later. Then we are left with only one case. And Z is south to the left of A. As Z is south to the left of A, then tell me where can these two places? Z is south to the left of A. If A is at this place, Z R A, Z R A. One, two, three, Z R A. One, two, three, Z R A. Isn't it? Hence, one of these persons must be at this place. Z is south to the left of A, and P is seated second to the left of T. As P is seated second to the left of A, and T is facing the center, clearly given. As T is facing the center clearly given, then tell me where should this be? T is facing the center. Among this one, T is facing the center. Hence, and one more information is there. What is that information? One person is seated between two persons who are facing away. One person seated between two persons facing away. Can you take this person? We cannot take that person. Because one of the immediate neighbor of that person is facing the center. And we cannot take here as well. And here we cannot take here as well. We cannot take here because this person. And that person must be here. And this person must be away. This is the only possibility left over for that. One other person is seated in between the persons who are facing away from the center. Where is that information here? And P is seated between the persons who are facing away from the center. And this P must be at this place. If P is here, Z and A, Z and A, then who is the person left over here? T is the person. And this T is facing the center, that person T must be here. T is facing the center clearly given, isn't it? Then, Z is south to the left of A. A Z is south to the left of A. Now, sir, if this A is at this, if Z is at this place, and this person is facing away, and Z is south to the left of A, Z is south to the left of A, if you take A at this place, Z must be at this place. Or if you take Z at this place, A can be either and Z is facing away, Z is south to the left of A, hence A must be in these two places. P is second to the right of A. As P is seated second to the right of A, that is also finest. R is second to the left of W, R is second to the left of W, and R is facing the person who is to the immediate neighbor of Q. R is facing the person, immediate neighbor of Q is T, M is to the immediate right of D, M is to the immediate right of D, D is, T is facing the center, P is seated between the persons who are facing away from the center and Q is south to the left of M, Q is south to the left of M, M facing outside, D is fourth to the left of W. Now D is fourth to the left of W and L is south to the right of R. As L is south to the right of M, L is south to the right of R. As L is south to the right of R, L must be in between D and Q. L is south to the right of R. If L is thought to the right of R, L cannot be here. Hence, what about this one? A and Z must be in these two places only. Out of which? Can you take A at this place? Then how many persons are facing away? Four persons. As of now, how many persons we have? All the persons are facing away at this one. One, two, and three, and four. Four persons are away. As four persons are away, all these persons must be towards the center. As all these persons are towards the center, and one more information, and Z is south to the right, uh, left of A. If you take A at this place, if you take A at this place, Z is south to the left of A, 
A is facing the center, then whatever this one, Z will be at this place. Z is tau to the left of A, isn't it? Z is tau to the left of A, or if you take A at this place, Z is tau to the left of A, isn't it? Hence, we cannot able to finalize these two places. Z is tau to the left of A, and P is seated second to the right of T. R is seated second to the left of W. W and is facing the person to the immediate. M is to the immediate right of D. T is facing the center. P is seated between the persons who are facing away from the center. And Q is thought to the left of M. Q is thought to the left of M. M who is facing outside. D is fourth to the left of W. D is fourth to the left of W. And L is thought to the right of R. And the positions of this A and Z can be in any one of these places. Z is thou to the left of if A is here, Z can be here. Or if A is here, Z can be here. And this is about question numbers 11 to 15. Then, yes, next one please. Next one to 11 to 15. Quick, 11 to 15, next one is 19, 19 to 23 done, question numbers 19 to 23, yes, anyone please? Next number, 26, now question numbers 26 to 30. Now, in this question numbers 26 to 30, what is information given here? 26 to 30, eight friends, eight Charan, Charu, Charita, and Charmi, and so on, isn't it? Eight friends are seated in a straight line, but not necessarily in the same order. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And are seated in a straight line, but not necessarily in the same order. And some of them are facing north, while some of them are facing south. North and south were given. As many people sit between Chintu and Charu, same as the number of people between Chintu and Chameli. Isn't it? Chintu, Charu, Chintu, Chameli. And this Chintu must be in between. Chintu must be where? Chintu must be in between Ch and these two persons. And this Chintu must be as many people sit between Chintu and Charu. Chintu and Charu. Chin 2 and Charu in the number of persons equals to, equals to, in the number of persons between Chin 2 and Chameli. Chin 2 and Chameli. Clear? Chin 2 and Chameli. Now, this is what the information is given. And Chin 2 and Charu and Chin 2 and Chameli, and this Chin 2 must be, Chin 2 must be between, exactly between these two. Either Charu, one, per, one place to the left or one place to the right, two, two places, three, three places and so on. And Chandi does not sit at the extreme ends of the line. Chandi is not at the extreme ends of the line. And Chandi is not at the extreme ends of the line. And both the immediate neighbors of Chandi faces south. And both the immediate neighbors of Chandi faces south. And for that one, this information is not at all required. Both the immediate neighbors of Chandi are facing towards which direction? Towards south. Both the immediate neighbors of Chandi face south. Chameli and Charmi face direction opposite to Charan. And Chameli and, and Chameli and who is the other person? Chameli and Charmi are facing the same direction, isn't it? And the direction is opposite to whom? And that op direction opposite to Charan. Opposite to Charan. Hence, Charan's direction and these two persons are opposite to each other. And only three people sit to the right of Chintu. Only three people sit to the right of Chintu. As tell me, and what is the position of this Chintu? Now we can able to fix the position of this Chintu. Only three persons. Hence, if you take Chintu at this place, only three persons to the right of Chintu, Chintu will be here. And what is the second possibility here? The second possibility is Chintu at this place. Then that person must be facing towards north. 
Free enough? Only chain 2. Then 8 persons 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Now in this one chain 2 at this place, as chain 2 is here, now this person is facing towards north. Only 3 persons are to the right of chain 2. Isn't it? Only 2 persons are there to the right of chain 2. And now as chin 2 is here, and Charita sits second to the left of chin 2. Charita sits second to the left of chin 2, Charita will be at this place. Charita sits second to the left of chin 2. In this case, Charita must be at this place. As Charita sits second to the left of chin 2, and next one. And Charita sits second to the left of chin 2, Charmi sits third to the right of Chandi. Charmi is seated third to the right of Chandi. Chandi is not an immediate neighbor of Chintu. Chandi is not an immediate neighbor of Chintu. And Chandi is not an immediate neighbor of whom? Chambi is not a neighbor of Chintu. As Chandi is not an immediate neighbor of Chintu, Chandi cannot be in these two places, isn't it? As Chandi cannot be in these two places, three people between Charita sits second, Charmi sits third to the right of Chandi. Charmi is seated third to the right of Chandi. Charmi sits third to the right of Chandi. As Charmi sits third, only three people sit to the right of Chin 2. Charu sits second to the right of Chitti. Charmi sits third to the right of Chandi. Chandi and Chandi is not immediate neighbor of Chin 2. Chandi is not immediate neighbor of Chin 2. Chandi cannot be here. Chandi cannot be here. Chandi cannot be here. 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 Isn't it? And so where should this Chandi? Chandi can be either at this place, isn't it? If Chandi is at this place, this Chandi is what Chandi is and Charmi sits third to the right of Chandi. If Chandi is at this place, Chandi sits third to the right of this one is not possible. Are you following this one or not? Then this Chintu and the Charmi must be in the same place which is not possible. Hence Chandi cannot be here, Chandi cannot be in these places. Hence where this Chandi here, Chandi must be at this place. If you ch take Chandi at this place, then this person sits third to the right. Charmi sits third to the right of Chandi is also not possible. And the only possibility left for this Chandi must be at this place. If Chandi is here, then Charmi sits third to the right of Chandi. This Chandi is facing north. One, two, three, this person must be Charmi. And if this person is Charmi, and between Chintu and Chintu and Charu and Chintu and Chameli. And these two persons are different. And Chandi is not an immediate neighbor of Chintu. Charu sits second to the right of Chitti. Charu is seated second to the right of Chitti. And Charu is seated second to the right of Chitti. That means these two persons must be in these two places. And earlier we have one information. What is that information here? Number of people. And people seated between Chintu and As many people between Chintu and Charu. Chintu and Charu is same as between Chintu and Chameli. Chintu and Charu, Chintu and Chameli. What is the possibility? Tell me here. Chintu, Charu, Chintu and Chameli. As Chintu is at this place, and if you take Chameli at this place, how many persons? Two persons. And again, two persons, the other person must be here. Are you following this one or not? Hence, if Chintu is here, Two persons between Chintu and Charu, and two persons between Chintu and Chameli. And again, this Charu is what? Charu is seated second to the right of Chitti. If this Charu is here second to the right of Chitti is not possible, isn't it? And so where should this Charu? Charu must be this side. If this Charu is at this side, now this will be Charu. And if this is Charu, he is here. And who is the other person here? Now we have discussed about the remaining persons. Same people sit between Chintu and Char as many people sit between Chintu and Charu. Chintu and Charu, how many persons are there? Two persons. And same is the number of people between Ch Chintu and Chameli. And Chameli must be at this place. Chintu Chameli is equal to Chintu and Charu. Then, and Charu sits second to the right of Chitti. And this Chitti must be here. And second to the right, this city must be facing the center, facing towards south. And who is the person left over here? Chameli is the person left over. 
and this chameli must be at this place chameli chameli then let's go through the conditions once again starting from the beginning as many people sit between as many people sit between chintu and charu equals to the number of people between chintu and chamel chintu and charu there are two persons chintu and charu how many persons are there and chintu and chameli there are two persons clear now chintu and charu two persons chintu and chameli there are two persons chandi does not sit at any of the extreme ends and both the immediate neighbors of chandi faces south both the immediate neighbors of chandi faces south means this charu as well as chitti are facing towards south and chameli and charmi face opposite directions to charan and what is the direction of this charan here and where is this charan and charu chandi chitti and charmi and charan and this person who is this person here the last final person is left over his charan now this is the person left over charan now this charan and this person these two persons chameli and charmi face opposite to this one chameli and charmi any direction of these two chameli and charmi and where is this charmi here chameli and charmi opposite to this person chameli and charmi are opposite to chameli and charmi is opposite to charan and chameli charmi is here and chameli where is this chameli chameli is at this place and these two persons are opposite to charan and only three people sit to the right of chintu charita sits second to the left of chintu charita sits second to the left of chintu charita sits second to the left of chintu charmi sits third to the right of chandi charmi sits third to the right of chandi charmi chandi is not an immediate neighbor of chintu charu sits second to the right of chitti charu is seated second to the right of chitti immediate neighbors of charmi face opposite directions immediate neighbors of chari charmi face opposite and this charita must be not if charita is not chameli is also not and this charan is facing towards south clear now and this is the final arrangement for this because the names are starting in the same and this is the way and this is why we are getting confused in this one chameli charmi and chintu chitti as yes, what is the final arrangement here charu facing towards south chandi towards north chitti towards south chintu towards south and charmi is facing towards north and charita is facing towards north and this chameli is north and this charan is facing towards south first write down this arrangement then check out whether all the given conditions are satisfied or not question numbers 26 onwards 26 to 30 then after this question numbers 26 to 30 then 31 to 35 now in question numbers 31 to 35 what is given in this one here an input and output favor 15 fasting 22 favorite and so on and so many words are there 3 4 5 6 words and followed by six numbers isn't it Six words, six numbers. Then what is the logic here? Twenty-two, forty-eight. Now, if you check out the last step, step number six. Now, question number thirty-one to thirty-five. Now, in question number thirty-one to thirty-five, in this case, thirty-one to thirty-five. Now, the numbers twenty-two, forty-eight. Now, these two are even numbers in the increasing order. Fifteen, thirty-three. Odd numbers in the increasing order. Twenty-nine, fifty-nine. prime numbers in the increasing order among these six numbers two even numbers two odd numbers two prime numbers out of which now all these are and out of which 22 48 are even numbers and the next 15 33 are odd composite odd composite are in the ascending order and odd prime numbers are in the ascending order then then coming to this number words fallen famous l m S S T E S T I F A V and F A V O. All these words are arranged in the ascending order. Clear now? Words are arranged in the ascending order first, followed by two even numbers, next to two 
odd composite numbers next to odd prime numbers. Then uh, how these elements were arranged then? Then first one should be what? Favor. Fallen should come, but we will see here favorite has been arranged at the first place. If favorite arranged at the first place, step 2 that has been shifted to the second place and in step 3 shifted to the third place, fourth place in step 4, step 5, fifth place in step 5, finally step 6. Hence, if you observe here this fallen famous fast and fallen famous fast and fasting favor favorite, fasting favorite, favorite. That means in all these steps, we at the first place these words were added and the remaining are shifted to the left hand side. Done with this? Now, this is how you can able to identify these words and these words are in an order. Then coming to these numbers, 22 fixed at the last place shifted to the next places. Next 48 shifted and shifted to the next and 15 shifted to the next, 13 and 29 finally 15. Done with this? Now, this is about question numbers 31 to 35. Next. Yes, tell me what is the next one? Next one, please. Thirty six to forty completed or not? Shall I explain this one thirty six to forty? Thirty six to forty. Now, question number 36 to 40. How many persons are there? In total, we have some J, K, L, M, and O, N, P are the seven persons. And these seven persons, like seven different colors, red, blue, and so on. And each friend also works in the same office but at a different position on basis of seniority. Now, write down this one seniority. And seniority, namely, assistant manager, manager, and deputy manager, and so on, CEO, and so on but not necessarily in the same order. Now, all these are what? All these are in the ascending order of their seniority. Now, who is the person here? The highest seniority is CEO and the next one is what? Next one is ED, isn't it? Each friend in the same office on the basis of seniority and but not net. The positions have been given in the increasing order of seniority with increasing order of seniority. And what is the first one here? Assistant manager. And next increasing order is what? Next in increasing order is manager MG. Next one is DGM. DGM, this should be taken in the same order. DGM, next one GM. After this GM, CGM. And after this CGM. And the next one is what? ED. ED. And finally, CEO. CEO. Now these are the positions. Now we need to find out the person and the flowers they like and the colors they like. Then condition number one. What is condition number one here? Only one person is junior to L. As only one person is junior to L, tell me where should this L? L must be at this place because this L must be the manager, only assistant manager is junior to this person. Only one person is junior to L. The one who is junior to L likes blue and this person likes blue, assistant manager likes blue. The MG likes red, MG. MG likes red color, manager likes red color. One person is senior to P, as one person is senior to P, this P must be an ED. And only one person is senior to P. P does not like orange and P does not like orange. P does not like orange. K likes yellow. K is what? K likes yellow. As K likes yellow and K is senior to GM. K is senior to whom? K is senior to GM. K but, but junior to the one who likes black. And K is senior to GM. And this person must be either CGM or CEO. But we are junior to the one who likes black. And K must be CGM. And junior to the one who likes black. And this black must be either P likes black or this CEO likes black and there are two possibilities to this black. The one who is a CEO likes pink, a CEO likes pink color and this black must be, this P likes black color, P is black color. 
the one who likes green is senior to L. Green is senior to L. Hence, green must be in these three places. Green is senior to L, but junior to the one who likes orange. But junior to the one who likes orange. As junior to the one who likes orange, tell me where can this orange here? And green and orange. Green must be before this orange. Green is before this orange. The one who likes green is senior to L, but junior to the one who likes orange. N is neither the junior most nor the senior most. N cannot be AM or DM and CEO, and this N must be DGM or GM. N does not like orange. N does not like orange. As N does not like orange, then can N be at this place? Can N be at this? Now, sir, N cannot be at this place and N cannot be at this place. Now, we are left with the two possibilities to this M. If you take N at this place, isn't it? If you take N at this place, what happens here? N will be here. If N is here green and orange, and a green and orange, where can this green and orange be? Is it possible? Green and orange. And J likes neither orange nor blue. As J likes neither, and O is not the junior most. As O is not the junior most, and so where should this O be? O must be in this. Only one person is junior to L. Then coming to this information, one person is junior to L, and the one who is junior to L likes blue. M G likes red color. M G red. One person is senior to P. P does not like orange. P does not like orange. K likes yellow. As K likes yellow, fine. We have not taken this information. K likes yellow. As K likes yellow, now tell me whether N can be at this place or not. If N is here, then orange and green. This is only one possibility. What is the possibility here? If green is here, orange will be here. But as N does not like orange, clearly given. As N does not like orange, N cannot be here. N will be here. If N is here, then whatever the other information is here, J likes neither orange nor blue. Hence, J cannot be here. J cannot be here. Hence, J must be here. If J is here, O is not the junior most. As O is not the junior most, O is GM. And who is the person left over here? M is the person left over. <coughs> As this is about question number thirty-six to forty. Yes, and this is about paper number thirty-seven. And the next is quant. Anything else left over in this paper? As tell me anything to be discussed in this paper other than this? Seven, seven, seventy-seven. What are these seventy-seven? Seventy-seven number series, right? Now question number seventy-seven. Tell me what is answer here. Seventy-seven. Six, four, five, fourteen, eighteen, forty-six, one thirty-nine. Now, in each of these questions, a number series. In each series, only one number is wrong. One number is wrong, isn't it? Is in each only one number is wrong? Now we should identify the wrong number. Six, four, five, fourteen, eighteen. 46 and 131. Now, sir. Now, in this one, how to express this one here? And 6 and 4, 6, 4, and 6 into 0.5 is so much 3 plus 1 is 4, and 4 into 1 plus 1 is 5, and next one. And 5 into how much? Into 0.5 and into 1, and it can be into 1.5, isn't it? Into 1.5 plus 1. 5 into 1.5 is how much? 7.5 plus 1. That must be how much? 8.5. And next one will be into 2 plus 1. 8.5 into 2 is 17 plus 1, 18. And if this is 18, next one is into 2.5 plus 1. 18 into 2 plus 5 is how much? 45 plus 1, 46. And 46 into 3 plus 1. 40 into 3, 120 plus 18 plus 1, 139. Hence, what is the wrong number here? 8.5 is the correct number. 14 is the wrong number. Each of these numbers is multiplied with 0.5, 1, 1.5, 2, 2.5, 3, and what is added here? One is added into 0.5 plus 1, into 1 plus 1, into 1.5 plus 1, into 2 plus 1, into 2.5 plus 1, and into 3 plus 1. S. Yes. And this is about 77. Choice three is answer. Anything else? 76 to 80.
S and the next is quantity. 